and we look at her with such innocence and such just purity of just being a child. And I think God looks at all of us that way through those eyes, that we are all his children. And he wants us to have a relationship with him. And unfortunately, we tend to not really talk to God or desire to have that relationship with him when things are going well. It seems like when crisis hits and when bad things are happening, that's when we go to daddy. You know? mm -hmm. And if we don't, I mean, it, it shouldn't be that way, but that's unfortunately just the way human nature is. And God wants that with us. He wants us to cry out to him and talk to him. And, you know, you talked about Abraham and uh, what a miracle it was that Sarah had a baby such late in life. And if God had blessed Abraham with a baby and when Sarah was in her 30s, a normal, you know, childbearing age or whatever, it wouldn't have been such a miracle that people could look at that and say that was of God. But because they prayed and prayed and prayed for a child and tried and tried to have a baby and could never have one. And then, of course, God promised you will have a son. And then it, she was, what, 100? Whenever she finally did have that child. Because they had to wait so long for that prayer to be answered. And because it was such a miracle that a woman could have a baby at that age, it was proof that it was of God. Nobody could deny that that baby was from God. That God made that baby. And I think, you know, for us being God's children, you know, we want everything now. We wanted the night that Summer went missing. We wanted her to be found that night. And driving away from Dawn and Candace's house that night without Summer, knowing that she was going to spend the night in the woods or with whoever, that was so tragic that first night. And I just, I, I was believing in God that she's going to be found tonight. And then the next day, she's going to be found today. And then every day since, God, you know, let her be found today. Sarah prayed the same prayer. I need. I want a child today. Let today be the day that I am pregnant. You know, but she was believing in God for that miracle. But she had to wait until she was like a hundred years old for that. I don't. I don't want us to have to wait. Nobody wants to wait. But we have to admit that if Summer had been found that night, it wouldn't have been a miracle. We wouldn't have. I'm sorry. It would have been a miracle. But I'm not <laughs> saying is we wouldn't. I, we wouldn't have known. Yeah. Sure it's a miracle. But because we waited, what is this? Two months. Yes, Walton. If summer at this point gets found, it will be a miracle, and everybody will be mm -hmm. like, "Wow, that yeah. is a miracle of God. That was prayer. That was the power of God yes. that did that." And the longer we wait, the more of a miracle it will be. The more glory to God, and I'm praying the glory goes to God, not to some medium. There's mediums out there seeing visions yeah, and saying where they believe that she is. I don't want when Summer's found it to be because some medium saw a vision. Satan knows where Summer is at. Satan knows. Yeah. God knows too. And God will reveal where she's at and who she's with or whatever in his time. And I yeah. just pray for God to give us the faith that we will do do that, that we will not give up, that we will trust in God for that miracle in his time and pray that it's today. Every yes. day I pray today yes. is the day. But I pray we will be faithful and mm -hmm. continue to pray and gather together. Even if it's two or three, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am among them. And I'm just going to pray right now. Dear Father, yes, dear we are God, here, Father. We are gathered together right now. And we lift up little summer to you, dear Father. We pray that today would be the day that she is found. Let today be the day, dear Father. But Father, we ask that you would help us to be patient. We ask that you would work in us. Maybe there's something that you're waiting on us to do. Maybe we think we're waiting on you to reveal Summer. Maybe you're waiting on us for our hearts to get in the right place so that you can bring Summer back home. And if there is anything, Father, if there is any sin in our life, if there's anything that you are trying to, waiting on us to get right before you can reveal where Summer is at, I pray, Father, you would work that miracle in us. I pray, dear Father, that you would be with that person who yes, took her. Yes, Jesus. If someone God. took her, Father, I pray that that person would be in heaven. Yes, Father God. I pray yes, that that person would be yes. And I pray that everybody that is praying for summer would have a heart that would desire to see the perpetrator in heaven. Because yes, we know Jesus. that we are all sinners and we all need Jesus. And we know one sin is greater than, than worse than another. We all need you, dear Jesus. And I just pray that you would help that person to repent of their sin. That if there's someone who knows something, 
that she would touch their heart, convict their heart to come forward, yes. to bring slumber forward, Father. Deliver that child from whatever bondage that she is in. And I pray, Jesus, you would bless her, your arms would wrap around her, that she would know that she is not forgotten, not by us and not by you. Let her know, Father, that she is loved. Let her know that her if there's somebody who is abusing her, dear Lord, I pray that you would help Summer to know that you are not like her abuser. That yes, you are a good Jesus. God. That you are a merciful God. Yes, you're a good, God. good you Father, are not Jesus. Yes. wanting any harm to come upon her. That you love her. Please, dear yes, Jesus, let Summer God. know that her Father in yes, heaven loves Jesus. her. And that you want the best yes, for her. Father. And I ask, Father, that you would touch Summer's heart. And I pray yes, you would touch you the heart of whoever might be involved with her disappearance, that, yes, that the truth would come out, that little Summer would come home, yes. and let it be very, very soon, dear Father. Yes, um, and, and please come come soon, because yes. there are so many children, there's so many people suffering right now, Father, and we're just crying out to you that you would come and deliver all of us from this evil, sinful world that is not the way you intended it to be. Satan has taken a beautiful, wonderful thing and turned it into something terrible and ugly and evil. And we all just want to be delivered from it, dear Father. And I just pray that you would come soon and take us home to heaven, the home that you're preparing for us. We're ready, Father. And just yes, help us Jesus. be faithful and until that day. But please come get us very soon, dear Jesus. Deliver us all. Mm. And uh, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for Joseph. Mm -hmm. Thank you for Tim and their faithfulness and continuing to get us together to pray, not just for Summer, but for all the precious little children out there who are suffering. And all of us, we are all your children. Thank you that all of us can come together and pray to you. And I just ask your blessing upon each person here. I know other people in this little circle right now are struggling with burdens of their own, and I pray for each person here. I pray for all the people who are praying for Summer who are not here right now. Just bless each person who is who is concerned and loves and, and is a friend or a family member. Just all the people who are involved in this little girl's life. And I just I pray a blessing upon all the churches in our community and all over the world that are praying for little Summer. Let us not give up. Let us all continue to pray, dear Father. You're the only one who can really bring Summer home. So we're going to you. We are going to you, dear Father. We're asking you to help fix this terrible situation. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much and listening to our little humble prayers. We're not worthy of you, but you make us worthy. Amen. Yes, Jesus. And we yes. thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Yes. And we thank you, Jesus, for, for loving us. Thank you. And the whole universe, you listen to this tiny little planet, this tiny little speck of dust in a huge cosmos. For some reason, you sent your only son to die for us. We know you care about us and you love us. And we thank you and we praise you yes, for, Jesus, for listening Lord. to us and for loving us. And we praise you, Jesus. So thank yes, you, Jesus. Jesus. This little precious group and help us to continue to have the faith and not give up until the end. We glorify you, Father. We ask these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And you... Uh, like you said before, um, I know it's been two months, but um, I've heard stories where um, kids went missing when they were little, and then I don't know how many years later, but um, I think about like 20 something years later, they finally found them. But there was with somebody else that was taking care of them, and I just thought, wow, and that's a miracle. And it's sad because the, the mom thought something happened to it, but I'm pretty sure that mom kept praying and praying and praying and praying. And eventually, it would, she'd be, they'd be there. <laughs> that, is, that is hopeful. Mm -hmm. I've been hearing stories like that, too. Little kids are missing for years and years, and, and then they're okay. They're, they turn up, and oh, I, just, I just wish it does. I don't want it to take that long. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> but it is hopeful. Mm -hmm. I guess the biggest hope that we 